Failing a course in medical school is not an uncommon experience. In this video, I'd like to clarify the relevant policy related to student academic performance at RVU. The policy is designed to provide support and remediation for students as you experience the rigors of medical school. This flowchart is available on the MyVista website, but I'll explain it in more detail now. When a student receives below a 75% grade in two or more courses during the year, they are classified as being at risk. This isn't failing the courses, but simply means that your advisor is concerned and would like to offer additional support, including the completion of a tracking form to confirm that you're taking positive steps to improve academic performance. When a student receives less than 70% in a course, they are placed on academic probation and are required to meet with the Students at Risk Committee, or STARC for short. The goal of this committee is to consider with the student possible areas of improvement, create an action plan, and determine a time when the student can remediate the course. Remediation equates to completing a comprehensive course examination at a future time, usually in June. Failing two or more courses is a course of greater concern and requires meeting with the Student Performance Committee, or SPC. The goal of the SPC is to review with the student the reasons behind the course failures and to recommend a course of action. This may include remediating the failed courses, repeating the year with the next class, or dismissal. The SPC's recommendations are forwarded to the Vice Dean who approves, denies, or modifies the recommendation. Once the decision has been made, students are notified in writing by the Associate or Assistant Dean for Student Affairs and they have five working days to appeal the decision to the Dean. This appeal must also be in writing and can be emailed to the Dean. After reviewing the appeal, the Dean's decision is final and the outcome of the decision is then passed along to the appropriate departments for processing as well as to the student. If you have any questions about this process, please refer to the Student Handbook or contact Student Affairs. I hope this has been helpful and know that Student Affairs, along with all of the faculty and staff at RVU, are here to help you succeed on your journey to become an excellent physician.